Oh, just look at the beautiful morning. Welcome to 2000. Yep, you heard me right. There's been a few changes. I finally got my license back, and the big hole in our front yard is all filled up. Let's get to it. So I finally got all the dirt I needed to fill up that giant sinkhole. Luckily, there is no foundation issues. Just filled it up and packed it in good. I kind of wanted to leave a little remnants of it. So I built a little pond for Gina. She likes catching the frogs and everything jumping around. So I built a little pond and then I built a bridge over there to my house. And yeah, I kind of like it. All we had to do was uh, add water and a bridge. Looks nice. So the farm has been progressing like wildfire. I know, you're surprised, right? No, I mean, we have had the best of luck the last few years. I paid off all the loans. You know what that means? I need to spend money. So now we got to get new equipment. Our equipment is is good. Trust me, our equipment is great. But we gotta get more equipment on the farm. I did pick up a few items already. This beautiful Kenworth. Yep, got a semi back on the farm. So this thing has been a beaut. I just love the orange color of this thing. It's like fire orange. Today, we are gonna be trading in a few of our items here on the farm. So the 2388 is going to be traded in. It's served us well for the last few years. Don't worry. The workhorse, the John Deere Spirit right here, the 4050 is staying on the farm. I, it's just so of like a chore tractor. It's going to stay. I, I just can't get myself around to getting rid of it. Uh, the 8100, we're not trading it in today, but we might contemplate in the future. I, I would like a nicer plant planting tractor, maybe uh, one of these days. But we have grown our farm a little bit, so we need to uh, get another uh, beast on the farm. The beast with the rice tires has served us well. Uh, it's going to be traded in today, I know. It might uh, might make some of you sad. It's going to make me sad because, I mean, I just sit here sometimes and just look up at it. I'm like, wow, that is one impressive grill. So I'm going to get the truck over here, load up a few of these items here, go to town. And I already had, uh, I bought a lot of, a few items on an auction. Uh, what trailer do I want? I did pick up a, a semi trailer here. A little, just a small little short trailer, one hopper. Hmm. Think first I'm going to uh, haul the 2388. So I'll, I'll haul it with this. I don't want to get in trouble with the sheriff's department anymore. I mean, if you have ever had your license taken from you, trust me, it is extremely hard. And they were watching me like a hawk. A lot of you suggested just drive around the farm. Who really notices you around a secluded farm like you have here? Yeah, that they were, they they kind of knew I would be trying to drive. So I would see them going up and down the roadway here, checking me out. Oh yeah, things of you. That visor, Ooh. wow, that visor's down low. All right, I better wait till the air is filled up on this thing. We're gonna actually unhook it right here. Pull the truck away. Load 
load up our case here. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this old girl. She sure did treat the farm well. A lot of grain went through its axle flow rotor. All the memories. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure you'll find a great home, old girl. Look at that thing roll some coal. Who needs mosquito foggers? Alright, we are just getting back, so I dropped off the case and got the new girl. You can see her right back there. But don't worry, I'm gonna I need to fill up with some gas down here. So at the gas station while the pumps are running, we'll take a look see at this uh old harvester. I think you guys will appreciate uh, the upgrade. Let's just say that. I think it's an upgrade. You'll have to let me know. Ooh. I don't know. Is it going to make it underneath there? Oh, wow. That's a little going to be close. I better back up when I get a... Uh... Alright. Alright. I'm going to get this gas started here. Fill it up with diesel. It takes a little while. Alright, so we got a cat. Another big cat on the farm. So we got a Lexion 590R. It's the cat power. It's the construction yellow, I think they call this. Uh, I don't know, I might be wrong. But these things... I think it's a major upgrade over that case. These things will kind of, they can really chew up corn. Let's just say that. These are uh, chewing machines. These are corn machines. Love the corn. I can't wait to try this. We can, I can't, I'm just so uh, anxious to put it in the field. I just can't, I'm going to have to wait all year long until next fall to be able to use this old girl. Trust me, I am looking forward to it. You ever have that toy in the, the shed that you just wanted to play with, but it wasn't really the time of year or the place to play it? That's kind of what I feel like. I got a new toy, and I just want to put it, put it through its paces. I just can't wait to see how much it chews up corn. Got a major bin extension with it, so... Yep, going to be able to... It's gonna be able to, it's like a hopper running around the whole field just fog in the city for all the local residents don't want them skeeters getting too big so now we're gonna put this Kenworth through his paces we'll make it up this hill steaming look at all that I have to worry about any uh, mosquitoes in these woods she's screaming up the hill man I haven't even had to downshift yet Man, this big old Cummins in here has no problem. Huh? I even shifted. Believe it? Oh. Oh, oh, wow, that's tight. Don't scratch the Ford. Don't scratch the Ford. All right. Yeah, I don't know if it'll even fit back into my uh, garage there. Don't think it's going to fit. Let's climb up the ladder here and see. Well, yep, yep, not gonna fit there. Uh oh. Oh man, where are we gonna put our our harvester? We're gonna have to use the big doors here. Or actually, act, is this any higher? I don't know if this is any higher. I believe this is higher, so I'll pull the Steiger out and try to put it in here, I guess. Alright. Will she fit now? Oh, yeah. Like butter. Man, the only thing bad about this, this is my shot. I'm gonna have to figure out something for my uh, Lexion here. Hmm. All right, I'm right here. Gonna get my trailer ramped up here. 
dropped up to Steiger, so the hauling company is going to take it to auction. Same thing with the 2388. So I got an old workhorse here. The field boss. The white farming equipment. I just love the looks of these old tractors. So I didn't really need another uh, chore tractor type thing on the farm, but... I don't know, I was just at auction, I just looked at it, and it went for such a good price, and I was like, why not? You know, I can use this, you know, take some of the load off of the 4050, thought it'd be a great item on the farm, maybe even get a little tillage done. I, I realize this is a little bit, this is, I don't know exactly when it was built, but it, it it's a little bit uh, older than, let's say, our new uh, case here or 4080. Now this thing, I've always liked the grills of these uh, case Steigers right here. I don't know why, I just like, these are one of my favorite grills. I think it's just because the slope and the straight lines and the contour of it. 480 horsepower Steiger tractor with a three point hitch PTO with a whisket disc these things this thing is built like a tank so uh, beans were taking on more land more ground I thought it'd be good to have a uh, more tillage equipment on the farm these type discs are really shine in this uh, dark soil type uh, rich farm ground we have here they really turn it over good all right, I'm gonna get this thing loaded get this thing back to the farm get it unloaded man I just love the looks of this old uh, beast Load her on up. All right, that thing is loaded up now. Whoo, that's a long drop I took that first step and I just kind of fell down all right, everyone, we got everything back here to the farm. The old white field boss is over there, so I'm unloading some wagons there quickly. And surprisingly, I had the best of luck doing it. It's so weird, isn't it? So we got the cat back, the cat harvester, and we got our new Steiger. I'm sure all you know that Millennial Farmer's map his uh, own farmyard finally came out so I did try to get on the map and then there's a lot of issues with the map there's a few issues uh, nothing that will prevent you from playing but there is a few issues I noticed that he took it back down from the Facebook most likely that'll be brought right back up I'm sure once the issues are fixed there are places you can actually find the map and I was wondering you know don't worry I am going to be moving to that map sooner or later one of my series either this series I don't know I, we'd have to convince everyone here to move to that map it is a smaller map which is really hard when you figure what four farms Austin follows the squad around so I guess four fa farms if uh, Chandler wants to move into uh, it's kind of small for that I am moving there sooner or later, trust me. I'm not going to just make a rush move to it because uh, I'm going to put my own touches on the map before I move there. So, you know me, I just can't uh, move somewhere where everyone else plays. I want to put my own touches to it. I have serious, some good ideas, and don't worry, uh, a version of Zack will be around that farm. Maybe even the Master Pipe. That would be a new twist. No one's. Everyone wants to just play like Zack. I don't know if anybody's really playing like the Master Pipe Lair. Whatever. I'm going to end up moving there. But I'm not just going to take the lazy road and just move in there and start farming. And that's, that's the easy road. That's just throwing content out there. That's not me. That's not my style. I'm going to make it just right make it uh work with the series that is moving there and move on over i know you guys are really excited about it i am too trust me uh i am going to be working that way but i still have a few more 
a few ideas to do before I get there. Uh, Millennial Farmer map, I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm sure they're going to work out the issues here really soon, but uh, it seems like all them maps, it's kind of like Welker's Farm. That thing had a lot of issues right when it first came out too. Mapper's Paradise just doesn't get the... Uh, just seems like it has some bad luck when it comes to them uh, airs and everything. It's kind of like them brushes, if you guys know. The bushes in Welker's Farm. Some of you probably already know. Them things were like horrible. Hit it with a tractor tire and wow, you flip that tractor. But we got this set up. I can't wait for the, the 2000s. I mean, that's one of my favorite years i mean some of the best looking uh farm equipment i think was made in 2000 and there's so many more opportunities that are open up for play styles and playing around on this map and maybe maybe after the 2000s we could even uh if we don't go to the 2010s we could even go back in time that would be fun i i kind of would enjoy trying to farm in like the 50s or the 60s it's going to be really hard finding the mods that we could get it done, but that would be kind of cool and kind of fun. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in the 2000s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Field Boss. What a great name for a tractor. Don't forget. Like the video. Thank y'all.